Good morning. Were you outside with Bella? Were you outside with Bella? Yeah. What did you do? She has poop. You have poop? What? She has poop. Oh, Lydia does. You came in with a dirty diaper. Okay. Good morning. What did you do outside? I fed the animals. You fed the animals? Wow. And gave them water and visited the cows. Well, that's swing nice. on swing. It's a very beautiful morning. The next, today and tomorrow is supposed to be gorgeous and weather. And so we are getting some math done quickly, right away, so that um, we can spend the afternoon just playing and being outside in the fresh air. We've also been keeping up with our Advent devotional, which I talked to you guys about, and really enjoying that. Everybody's liking it. It just has, um, <laughs> I know, she needs her diaper change. Yeah, it's been good. There's like an adult version and a kid's version, but I'm reading the whole thing to them because they enjoy listening to the whole thing while they color and they answer the question. And It's been good. It's been a um, very laid back December where we're just, you know, doing very little and pursuing a lot of crafting and other projects like that. And I've enjoyed it so much. It's just what we needed. So I am going to be taking Elsie shopping here very soon. We do, um, for Christmas, each of the kids get a shopping trip with me that they get to pick out some other little things for their siblings. Um, we usually do thrift stores and it's just for the fun of it because Christmas is just about the joy of giving, right? So, what's the fun? Come up, come up, come up. Um, and that's what we do. Jason and I don't get gifts for the kids. We fill the stockings with things, but other than that, it's just we let the kids pick out for each other. And it's a very fun tradition that everybody, everybody enjoys. So, you want to back outside? You want to go back outside? I just need my milk. Okay, we'll get you some more milk. We just finished our shopping trip together and ran into the post office. We, we found some fun things at the thrift store. Uh, maybe I'll show you some of them, but she got some surprises for her siblings, so I don't want to ruin that if they watch this video. But we wanted to show you guys, we just got an envelope in our P.O. box from Sandra in Germany. She has sent us a really pretty card before. I don't know if you guys remember, it had this cool cutout. So she just finds such neat, oh, it's another one. Isn't that fun? Oh my, look at this, Elsie. Whoa, that's like hard. <laughs> that is incredible. People are so talented. She finds these in Germany. That is so Ew, beautiful. I am look. amazed. Oh, I wasn't showing the right side to them. Look, there it is. Look at that. How sweet is this? It says, Dear Julie, I wish you and your beautiful family a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. Oh, thank you. That is a fun surprise. Boy, the kids will like that. I know. We also picked up a box from Arteza. They asked if they could mail me something, some new kids thing that they have. So we'll see what it is. Yeah. Ooh. There's another box inside. A box. A box inside a box. I know. And it says Arteza on it. I don't know what this is going to be. They're Neither. always coming up with new um, ideas. Yeah, new products. So yeah. let's see if I can break this plastic. This is fun. They've been having, um, actually I was on their website yesterday and saw they've been having like a countdown to Christmas cyber deals or something like that. That different things have been really, oh neat. That's what she was telling me about. Look at this. It is their watercolor paper, which I've bragged about before because it's so good. And it comes with a paint kit and one of their brush pens, which the fun thing about these, because we have one of these, you unscrew this and you can fill it with water. And, so and then squeeze it and water comes Water out. comes out. So and instead of the kid having to constantly dip their brush, it comes right out of it the... It makes it so vibrant. It, yeah. Oh, that's fun. This is a... Oh, this is not normal paper. Oh. oh Special this paper. Is, I've never seen this before. It's oh. frame watercolor. So it's their watercolor paper that they paint on, and when they get done, it folds up to make it look like a framed canvas. Cool. That is fun. Okay, there you go. You got another gift idea. If you're looking for it. I'll put the link. I'll see if I can find a link from her, right. and I will put that in the description box. Okay, we better head home now because yeah. I really want to try that. We've been <laughs> going to try it. That's not why I said we should head home. 
we I have the all the people at home and um, Jason's working from home today and so I want to make sure he can actually work and not all we manage need is a whole lot of people. So. Make, all we need is water. With that. That's true. All you need is water and it's ready to go. Water, well, that's ready. fun. Thank you, Arteza, for sending that. Okay, heading home. Open it up, James. There's a surprise inside. You only get three. Oh, thank <gasps> What do you think about that? Whoa, that's Isn't that cool? What is it? It's, so, it's the reindeer. Yeah. And Santa. Like Isn't that, that amazing? Is. Oh, That's so neat. Great. I get pop. Okay, here's a couple things I am going to show you that I picked up today. These were a dollar a piece. Mrs. Meyers dish soap. Um, they have these brand new products sometimes for great deals. I also got this one for a dollar fifty. Um, yeah. And then. The other fun thing that they have is a, all of their books are free. So they just have a big bookshelf with free books, which is perfect because I just got an email that our um, library is closed again. They've done this before. We normally can do curbside pickup, and then every once in a while, suddenly the curbside pickup closes too. I don't know why, but these are all books that I have either seen before or this is Audio Bible for Kids I thought looked interesting. It's like a... It's by the faith comes by hearing people who have, they have a really neat app. If you, can, you can check that out for free. This was all free. This was on the bookshelf. Um, but you can look at their app up on your phone. They have like dramatized um, Bible things. So this one is for kids. I thought that was interesting. Anyway, and there's one other book, a kitty cat book that Elsie is almost finished with. <laughs> We've been home like 30 minutes. She reads so fast. That is the problem is I have such trouble keeping enough books it around here for Done. my kids because they read so fast. Here it is. This series they like. But obviously it's not enough for her because she'll read this in 30 minutes. So we need a little bit more of a hearty book for this it's child. Good it's um, yeah, but I love the library because I can just order to keep up with their appetite. So right now I feel so stuck because I can't order books and you know, I'm out of books. <laughs> Oh, the dilemma, the book dilemma. I feel like homeschoolers need to start just sending each other books through this time when everything is... I, I know some of you have had your libraries just close and not reopen, so I feel really blessed that ours is usually open. I mean the curbside pickup anyway, because that's fine with me. I don't mind not going in as long as I can still get the books, but for some of you who live in small towns, maybe your library just closed and didn't open again. I feel for you. I do. We are eating leftover... Dinner. <laughs> this was enchilada casserole that I made that they put sour cream on and then some applesauce. Mama. Yeah, I didn't, I tripled the recipe but didn't only double the enchilada recipe and they were like, not enough. Ah! <laughs> wow, Elsie got right to work on that pack that Arteza sent us. It's beautiful. Those watercolor colors are gorgeous. Papa is out working on starting the greenhouse. Yes. Do you like watching him? Go see what he's doing. She loves being outside. She loves to walk and wander and explore. She likes to see things, especially chickens and ducks. Oh, this day is so beautiful. What's happening here, Bella? Feeding. It's feeding time. It's evening. Evening has come. Bella's doing her evening chicken feeding. We let them just scrounge and forage all day long. They are totally free range. They can go anywhere, so that's the bulk of their food. Yeah. But the reason I feed them in the evening is because then in the morning they're really hungry, so then like the cow pies will scratch open and eat her grain in there. And then they'll look for bugs and insects. So then they fill up at night and they get in it. It's better to feed them at night because then when they go to bed they're full instead of go to bed hungry, which is not so good. And it's better for the digestive system. She soaks her grain 24 hours before she feeds it. I've been adding diced mixed earth to mom. Hmm. I've been adding look at them all. They're busy. 
Uh, 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 uh. What's Papa doing? I came out to see what he's doing. Can you show me where he is? Here. Oh, there he is. Howdy. What is happening? I think Liddy's pet. No, She's mad. She came all the way to me. Yeah. Oh, and That's you didn't right. hold her? Lydia, here, are you mad? You wanted Papa. <laughs> if she sees him, she wants him to hold her. Every time. Somebody either wants me to pet him, hold him, or fix something. Mm -hmm. You want to hold this? Bella just made this ornament. Can I see it? Hold it up. Is that pretty? With glue and yarn. Oh my yeah. gosh, it's so cute now that you It did turn out really pretty. Game the fragile. Now so I don't know if you remember seeing this structure over the summer. I talked about it on some videos, I'm sure. I'm sure I did. This is the beginnings of a greenhouse. So this right here, uh, the metal front and the back were part of a little building that was here when we moved here. Jason made it longer by putting up walls, framing out walls, you can see there. This is the kids project right there. They took bricks and made a little thing there. Um, anyway, he put up two by fours here. And then my friend Jenny gave us some sheets of this greenhouse plastic stuff. We're going to use that for roofing. And then for now, we're just going to do, um, we have, what is that plastic called? Is it a greenhouse plastic? It's a greenhouse plastic, a roll of it that my friend Vicky gave us a while back. So we're going to use that for the sides for now. That way in the summer you can roll them up so that it doesn't get hot in there. And it's also going to be easier to put together. So it's December and Jason offered to work on a little bit today. He has so many projects, this guy. It's always like, which project did we do today? Juggling it all. Kids are playing horseshoes. That's fun. It is such a nice day. Trying to soak oh, it up. I got two points. And a quarter. So, basically, I'm taking parts that we had gotten from one project or another. You know, you know, I like to gather material whenever it's available, because I never know what project is going to um, need what. Um, so, you know, my dad brought some fence posts. Uh, and we had some mm -hmm. long two by sixes that we got, and it is full of nails. <laughs> <laughs> She's so crabby. How about I hold her? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come here. Oh, Come here, immediately Quabby. happy. Immediately. Come here, Quabby. She just wants you. <laughs> <laughs> and then taking these two by sixes that we got from a, a gentleman who was tearing down a house. So we have to take all the nails all out of those? Oh man, that is a lot of nails. I don't have to, I could do it after it's up if I just turn well, it down. Well, you could pay some kids to do it. Yeah, right, they're so over that job. <laughs> they did that for a long time. Yeah, I think I burnt them out on that. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a lot. Hmm. But, so I gotta figure out, here, this is to me, this is the hardest part because I'm not a professional builder. And so I don't know certain things just right off the top of my head. I have to think through the different steps to figure out where I need to measure a board or raise a board or whatever. So um, because we don't have a thick enough board to go from this end to that end because it's like 18 feet plus long. Right. And so because of that length, you would have to have really tall to be able to support the mm -hmm. roof joists that go across. Everybody's going blah, 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 I get to the point. Um, so, <laughs> what, what Did the, you read my mind? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, Julie. I'm kidding. I speak Julie. So, because I don't have a long enough board, I'll have to support it in the middle. You have to piece it, and that's and, what this thing is for. Yes, and so I dug a hole, okay. shoved some rock in it, tamped it down, put a rod in it. That's my attempt, and like the best temporary permanent answer. I drilled That's a, a hole idea. in the bottom of the pole. It's going to go over that. Notch this so the boards, boards can, can fit in, there. in it. See, you're so smart coming up with all these ideas. I wouldn't have thought of that. Well, I wouldn't even be building anything though, so You do you, I'll do me. <laughs> so so then 
will have to overlap somewhere else besides right in the middle because it's... Right, because you have more than one board. Because it would actually shift the roof line a little bit and it's just kind of goofy and never nobody's going to... And if anybody comes over and then they look up at my roof line and they say that's They won't crooked, because be mad. they'll be looking at all the beautiful plants within. They Wait, won't you even just notice said you the wanted roof to go line. over. So to go over she you She wants mama down. now. She doesn't know what she wants. It's evening. It's the sad time. <laughs> Okay, I'm back inside and I want to show you guys something. Let me get the light on here. Um, we were sent these twinkle lights <laughs> and I use them to put in the bathroom to just make it so fun. We have them in other areas of the house too. It's really nice. They're just a strand of lights and then they have this on off pack so you can put them anywhere. There's, there's like, um, there's eight different styles that you can put them on. But so we hung some because you can put them in areas where you don't have a plug. I don't have any kind of plug here. And I don't know, it just kind of glows up a fun little glow in the bathroom in an unexpected place. And then we also have been doing some crafting. And so we made this, which smells so good. The whole bathroom smells Christmassy. It's just cloves in a fresh orange. And we cut this and brought it in. It's just those little simple touches that I like. So anyway, I went to... Um, before I got rid of the package, I thought, I wanted to show you guys this. They are from Amazon, but it's Koo Power. I can put a link. They are just really nice because you can stick them anywhere. And so I'm, I was really glad they sent them to us. Let's get it back to my twinkle. I like my twinkle. The kids have some hanging in their room. Uh, it's just fun when you come into the bathroom and have a little bit of a sparkle. <laughs> Yep, all right, I need to make some dinner. It's that time of night. Okay, one more thing before I let you go. How cool is this? Show, turn it around, show all sides of that, Elsie. It creates an actual little canvas. And look, you can poke a nail through this. Right, oh, this Barney. really is, what a great idea they had to do this. That's fun, it makes your artwork just feel so professional, doesn't I it? I know, he nice does. Nice job. Yeah, that would be a really fun gift for somebody. Yes. Really okay, fun. now we're letting them go. Have a great night. We will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.